What is it, Raven? Really? First of all, we have established many, many, many new young guys that were hoping to make first moves in, which was claiming to be he was actually there to save them from this. Do you have one back yet? Yeah. Ready? Time starts now. The last shot. Say confidently, what is it? What do you not know? Yeah, I didn't start the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Say it again, say it again. Golden cap. Yes, there we go. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Okay. Can I say it faster or say it again? <laughs> kind of a, an important segment that I've been looking forward. Me and Thomas have definitely been talking about this segment for a while now. But yeah, it's our Q and A. You guys ready? Um, how do you respond to gray area situations? For example, you steal food because you and your family are poor. One of the things here is that, like for one, in the question, this is kind of not really a gray area. Bible is very clear uh, on, on what is right and wrong. How do you have faith and strengthen it? So faith is granted to you by the Holy Spirit. Faith is a gift. Uh, it's not something you uh, earn. The Holy Spirit works in your heart and allows you to have faith in, in God. And how do you strengthen it? Now, this kind of goes to practical Christian living, really. Like, are you are you reading the word? Are you praying? Are you um, involved in a local body? Ooh, um, what should I find in a significant other? Will people go to heaven if they don't do bad things but don't believe in God? Uh, how should Christians view tattoos? How do you deal with greed? Greed and Pride are the roots of sin. You want something that you don't have, or you want something that you think you deserve, but you don't have it. How can we initiate a conversation about God? Whoa, how can you not? <laughs> <laughs> how do you know if the Spirit is working in you? You've had ups and downs, because there, there will be ups and downs for sure. Yeah, and there will be highs and be lows. perfect once you receive them. <laughs> right, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh, this is a doozy one. What happens to babies that are aborted? If you are in a relationship at a young age, how much effort or how committed should you be? How do you know you are truly following God and doing His work? I think a part of this is actually knowing God and who God is. The more you know God, the more you'll know what He wants for you in His uh, for you in your life, right? Do you ever have moments where you feel like God isn't there? At one point or another in in, in every Christian's life or anybody who believes in God. There's going to be moments where you feel like that God isn't there. I earnestly hope you're doing well. Can I ask questions during discussions? <laughs> yes, you can. Yes, you can, of course. <laughs>